Okay, today we're gonna to be looking at using Matrix. What is Matrix? Very easily, it is a protocol for communications. It's decentralized and it's open source and there's multiple clients for it. Today we're just going to look at setting up an account. You can set up your own servers, but we're just gonna use matrix.org and we're gonna use Element. Element can be done in the web browser, desktop client, or on a mobile device. Let me just show you real quick and easy how to get things set up. So here I have two windows, I have two browsers open. On the left side, I just created an account and logged in. Now over here on the right, I'm going to create another account so I can go through that process and then I can communicate between the two of them. What we're gonna do here, and again, there's lots of clients, we're just gonna use, uh, if you could do app, so app.element.io, you're gonna hit enter there and it's gonna bring this up. Let me go ahead and make this full screen here. And since you don't already have an account, that's why we're watching this video, we're going to click create an account. Now you can change the server here, but we're just gonna use the matrix.org for this tutorial. But if you have another server you wanna use, you can edit that right there. Let's go ahead and create an account. I'm gonna call it matrix tester. 2023, do it all lowercase. Uh, I noticed on the mobile device, I kept trying to put capitals letters and it wasn't taking it, but wasn't telling me why. Uh, so all lowercase letters, let's uh, give it a password. But remember what you put as the password. This is just a test. I'm going to remove all this after. I'm gonna say matrix tester 101. No, 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 2023 is my email address that I set up for this at mail.com register. I am not a robot and I'll select some traffic lights here. There we go, accept the terms and accept. Now we'll go to our email client, check our inbox. We'll have a notification from them and we'll say verify your email address. And it's setting up some keys. And I'm gonna say, you pick what you're gonna be using for. You can skip that, I'll just say family and friends. So here we have on the right side, the account we just created. The left side, another test account that I created. So in here, we can look. If we click on this up here, it will tell you your name right there. It's kind of shortened there, but it's matrix.org at the end there because that's a server I'm using. Here, I'm gonna say, start your first chat. And I'm going to type in this person's name. I'm gonna say at matrix test 101, I'm gonna say matrix.org. And I'm gonna click on here, I'm gonna say go, right? And it brought me into a room and I can say, hello, buddy. And I will say send. Now you can enable, enable desktop notifications, which will allow you to see notifications. But you can see here, since I typed that in there, uh, we'll say, worry about this later. Uh, I can click here and I can start, agree to start the chat here. And now we are communicating. End-to-end -end encryption, you can do things like, well, obviously you can chat, you can video chat, do a voice call, you can send emojis, you can attach files, and a few other things. You can do polls, so which is better, cats or dogs? And down here you can say dogs, and you can say cats and you can add more but we'll create the poll and then people that you're talking with can vote on what they prefer so there's a lot of cool things you can do in here you can share your location you can send a voice message stickers and that sort of thing and again end-to-end -end encryption um, and I, I love that I can do it right in the web browser, but I also have the application installed on my phone. It is uh, free and open source and it works pretty good uh, but matrix is pretty cool you should check it out thanks for watching I hope that you have a great day